let me put my glasses on so I can look like I'm smart and everything. Okay, let's get these glasses on. Okay, so doing another tag. Yep, I'm doing another tag. This one is my little cousin, as I call her, my cousin, uh, Tara Michelle. Now, she created this tag. It's called The Most. I almost did air quotes, but it's called the most. And in each in each um, category, you're supposed to give the most, you know, the most that you think, you know, that fits this category. All right. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my tag game up, you know, get my tag game up. So let me go ahead and do this tag and make sure that I represent for my, my little cuz, my little cuz, Tara Michelle, opinionated sense. All right. So let me grab some fra fragrances and let's talk about the most. sliding my damn all right so here we go with the most now it took me a minute to think of a couple of them but some of them just like jumped out at me so let me go through each one and then i'm going to put down what i think so for confident the most confident now of course tara gotta be extra and she's got these extreme descriptions to like really hone in like her for one for confident was if you had to be butt ass naked in front of a room full of people and be confident okay so i ain't gonna be butt ass naked but i'm gonna show you what i would be confident wearing and so confident for me is i'm all about boss and you know confidence and everything so for that this would be perry ellis saffron rose ooh, ooh saffron rose because this is just this spicy sexy rose and that's what would give me confidence to wear something with a look that's rose but it's a spicy rose it's got a little it's got a little hardcore to it it's not that sweet you know sweet girly innocent rose because i got some of those but this is like yeah i'm confident you know, nothing, anything that comes my way when I'm wearing this is not going to bother me because I smell so damn sexy and good um, that, yeah, <laughs> what? You got something to say to me? Bye. Okay, so that's confident. Now, desirable. Now, the most desirable. Now, I honestly have a lot of fragrances that could have filled this one because if you know me, I love me a sexy ass fragrance. But then I thought about it. I said, okay, so let's think about just desirable, just what that embodies. And one of the things I thought about is like, when you hear a lot of men talk about fragrances for women that they love, so many of them love Alien. You know, Alien is just classic. So I said, Jasmine. Now, I am not necessarily an Alien girl. Me and Alien, you know, we kind of go back and forth. Some days it works. Some days it doesn't to the point that I sold my bottle of Alien just recently. But my Jasmine would be Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. This is a spicy Jasmine. You know, it's got that spice in it. It's just this beautiful, over-the-top, rich, seductive Jasmine, you cannot go. I mean, look at the bottle. The bottle alone, this color alone says that this is desirable, that this is seductive, that this is passionate, baby. So, yeah, Jasmine Rouge right here. All right. The next one is Gangsta. I had to think about that. I was like, Gangsta? Okay, so Gangsta is like when I'm on some bullshit that I don't, hey, don't fuck with me today. Don't fuck with me because I am not in the mood or I'm, or I'm going into a situation where it's like, you know, those times when you got to deal with some shit and you, you got to let people know what and, and so I thought about this is a new one to me, but this is Gangsta. This is Kira Yalang by Elisab. This is leather and yalang yalang. And let me tell you, this is gangster. This is a whole lot of things, but this definitely says that I ain't. The leather is so prominent and so strong and so beautiful. You know, it's got that rough neck vibe to it, but then that yalang yalang gives it that gorgeous, sexy uh, floral. And if you don't know anything about florals, yalang yalang is actually a considered a pheromone. It is an attractant. So not so when in a gangster mood, I need to attract attention to myself, and I need to make people understand that yeah, you this is me. This is me. So cure your line. 
All right, now, innocent. And I I can be innocent. I can be sweet, honey. I can fake innocence like uh, I'm an Academy Award winner, I promise you. Because I know y'all think, Lou, innocent, trust me, Lou, Lou has worked innocent like a $2 hoe. But anyway, one of mine is Dangerous Complicity by Ita Libre de Ange. This is just my pretty girl fragrance. It's powdery, got a slight booziness to it, but it's just pretty on the skin. It's just this floral, but it's it's feminine and flirty, but not too um, youth, it's not, it's not too young. It's got a classic flirtatious nature that makes it just perfect on one of those innocent days. I'm like, hey. You know, wearing a cute little sundress and everything. You know, nice little sandals. Look at just, you know, just girly girl. All right, rowdy. Now, I had to think about this because, you know, chill, child, I'm 54. I don't do too many rowdy things. You know, rowdy for me is hanging out with friends, you know, kicking it, laughing and stuff. And so I was like, okay, so what would I wear in those situations? One of the things I do wear, so I had is. Uh, man Sarah's pearl because this is one of my favorite fig this is my favorite fig it's fig it's rose it's sweet it's beautiful it's got that floral it just vibes really beautiful and so when I'm in there hanging out with friends laughing and joking you know I don't want to have on anything that's too much but just enough to be like yeah, there go Lou with her damn fragrance so pearl all right um noticeable gotta be honest and i know this seems kind of like cliche at this point but i'm gonna be real with y'all one of my most noticeable fragrances is delina real talk you wear delina people gonna notice you and the reason why is because there's such a standout first off delina is strong as hell you know it projects out it lasts on you it's strong but it also has a certain amount of uniqueness and yes to us in fragcom you know people who really buy fragrances the lean is not unique to us anymore it's based you know it's kind of overdone you know we see it all the time people talk about it all the time but in the regular world people don't know delina people don't you know most people don't have delina so you're gonna stand out and it's gonna be noticeable because you're going to have on something that's very unique in the average setting so delina is yeah noticeable now she's got three that she calls the most you and there's three in this one so there's three of them so the first one is the most you is the bottle now i was gonna use one but then i said nope this is the most me this is really the most me now who am i i am girly girly as fuck favorite color is pink i love sparkles right and that's what you get in Royal Rose Oud by McAuliffe. This is this bottle is me. It's pink. It's sparkle. It's got it's got rhinestones. It's got sparkle on it. This is me. Pink and sparkly. Royal Rose Oud. That's all there is to it. That's all I can say. All right. Then, then it says the only the name of the bottle. Had to look around. I said, Oh, this is the one. Mm -hmm. this is me in a name one name the only one intense because not only am I the only one but I am intense you know I have been told years ago that people either love me or hate me there's no in between and I said you know at the time I was like well you know that is hey it is what it is and that's true people either love me or hate me they don't necessarily like my ass they'll love me or they'll hate me there's no real in between and that's okay that is who I am the only one intense and i do feel i do stand out to a certain extent only because i don't give a fuck and so I, I i i've always walked through this life being me and a little unique so i've always been the only one i mean people from high school know me for certain things and i was the only one doing this or i was the only one doing that you know so my life has always been about being true to myself and doing things the way I wanted to so the only one intense now overall is me I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna let y'all put this the which what it is 
in the in the comments because y'all know the, the one that's overall me y'all know which one is the overall me i i i, I recommend it to everybody y'all might as well put my name in it you know we call it wild motherfucking python but it could be wild lulu python at this point because we know that i love this fragrance and i forever tell people i share with everybody i'm like you need to try it now true enough it's not for everybody my best friend she don't like it i don't know what the fuck's wrong with her but you know that's neither here nor there i still love her but wild python is such a beautiful classic white florals just girly just it's just you know it's got that classiness about it it's you know elegant it's well bred and it's still got a certain amount of sexiness to it so yeah overall wild python is me wild python is me and i am wild python all right so that is it for miss tara's tag video now i would tag some people but i think tara tagged everybody in there so i don't know if i'm gonna tag anybody but if you haven't if you don't know if you didn't know you was tagged on it you tagged on it now and i'm gonna look on her list if i see some names that i that um should be on there i'm gonna tag them on mine all right y'all so thank y'all for watching as always it's your lulu be bold be brave be fearless be free and don't get used to this hair because It'll be back to the regular hair real soon because, child, I can't be doing this all the time, all the time, I tell you. All right, see you later.